very famous haiku that he wrote starts, I walk through Kyoto, hearing the cuckoo sing, longing for Kyoto. So he's there, but he's missing it. There's something about poetry that's always somehow detached from where you are. We were talking yesterday about the oldest poem in the world. Anybody want to hear the oldest poem in the world? Yeah! They found this poem in Iraq. Uh, it's uh, it was written in the Sumerian times. Any of you know who the Sumerians were? Yeah, you do? You raise your hand. So you heard of them? They were, they, they were about the time of the ancient Egyptians. They are the first, first civilization. 3,000, 2,500 BC. So, this poem was, was found Actually, it was found by, uh, I think it was found by the husband of Agatha Christie. And, you know, he was an archaeologist. He was working in it. And this 2,500 BC or 3,000 BC, this poem begins. Unhappy modern man. He walks down the streets of the noisy city with a splitting headache. Cannot hear the voice of his God calling to him anymore. Unhappy modern man, he walks down the crowded seat of the noisy city, cannot hear the voice of his God calling to him anymore. I think all poetry is an attempt to hear that voice again, try to find something in us that's been lost by life. We're trying to get back in touch with our feelings or get back in touch with something. But I haven't given you any pushkin yet. How many of you are connected to Russia in some way? 